Hi, I'm Michelle Sullivan at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, and this morning I'm speaking with Dr. Sybil Loibel. She presented a, a large uh, meta-analysis this morning, more than 9,000 women in eight studies, uh, showing that young women who have neoadjuvant therapy and then a pathological complete response to surgery have a very good prognosis. Dr. Loibel? So uh, we know that the women very young, 35 years of age or younger, mm -hmm. have a higher chance of achieving actually a pathological complete response and this is especially true for the triple negative patients mm -hmm. where almost half of the women achieve a pathological complete response and this is also true for the hormone receptor positive HER2 negative patients, the so-called luminal patients, mm -hmm. but also their age matters and if they achieve a pathological complete response they are have an excellent prognosis irrespective of age. If they don't achieve mm -hmm. a pathological complete response, then the young women have the worst prognosis of all of the age groups. So the norm normally, um, or a uh, common practice is not to offer young women neoadjuvant therapy, is that right? No, that's not correct. Okay. The uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy is at least common standard in Germany. Not all, the majority still receive adjuvant chemotherapy, but um, uh, my study should show that we should offer more new adjuvant chemotherapy to the very young women, mm -hmm. meaning below the age of 35 years and younger. And across these studies, um, was age uh, the most uh, significant independent factor uh, associated with survival? Age was an independent and statistically significant, also clinically significant um, uh, factor for uh, achieving a pathological complete response. And on the other side, it was a worse prognostic factor for mm -hmm. outcome. So what does this say um, to medical oncologists who are responsible for making the decision of whether to offer chemotherapy to young women? I mean. We, the triple negative, they are out of discussion, they have a higher chance and we don't have anything else what we can offer them. But the hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative, these uh, are nowadays considered to be, we should not offer them so much chemotherapy, but we have to distinguish. So I personally believe we should offer them more chemotherapy and we should offer them preferably neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Well, thank you very much. That's great information. Thank you. Good news. Thank you. Thank you.